as runners, we're never been so well informed, ever. <laughs> you know, I'm as guilty, I'm one of the guilty ones for that. Got a YouTube channel, and if my channel didn't exist, there would be thousands of, thousands of others, There's thousands of books on running. Now, stop and think about that. Crazy, really, because running is putting one foot in front of the other. And there are whole industries that surround running. So why is that? Well, people love running and they love getting faster and better. And especially in the specializations of like endurance running, when you start getting up half marathon, marathon, people want to know what the edge is, what gives them that edge over someone else, or in most cases over themselves. How can they become a better runner? That's, that's, that, that's it. So now we're all informed, are we all better runners? I think broadly, probably, possibly, lots of ways. But what it also does is it overwhelms people. It gets to the point where they're not sure. And, and, and what they do is they kind of consume more and more information. And I see this again and again and again, where information is overload. And people just need to get out and run. <laughs> because a lot of the benefits of running come from, and I'm sorry to say it, from running. <laughs> you know, most successful runners have run for a long time. The body doesn't understand pace, as I've mentioned on videos before. It understands effort. It doesn't understand at any level what you're doing. So in an evolutionary point of view, if you're running fast, it thinks you're being chased. And if you get caught, then it's the end for the body and it's the end for the brain. So. If you don't get caught, it's sort of like, well, we're adapt uh, because we need to get faster. And if you're jogging along at a nice conversational pace, your body probably thinks you're out in the, in the, in the forest looking for food. And then when, when you rest, your body's going, oh, it's time to rejuvenate. It doesn't know that you've got a half marathon next Wednesday and it doesn't care. So what am I saying here? Well, yes, get the information, yeah. But then don't get overloaded with it. Don't, you know, because there is nothing new. There is nothing new, shocking. There is no new thing. There are just perhaps different ways of arranging it. You know, that old joke from Eric Morecambe, I'm playing all the right notes, but not particularly in the right order. <laughs> you know, how you play those notes is the big thing. You know, to get a great tune out of your body. Now, this is why I've done my free 10 day marathon maximizer. It's for marathon and half marathon runners. And it's 10 days of taking that generic plan, that plan that you've been using, and let's be honest, probably very similar to lots of other plans, but it may not be a fit for you. It may not be a fit for your age, it may not be a fit for what you do. And you may be playing certain notes and you're thinking, well, the plan says it should be this note, but it doesn't seem right for me. And that's what I'll be sharing in those 10 days to make it more personal to you. Because I'm fed up of just giving information, people telling me, oh, what you tell me is very informative. And I'm like, are you using it in the right way? Now, of course, I know that, you know, people who get coached with me get that. And this 10 days is a middle way. You know, 
I know that some of the runners that come on the 10 days will end up being coached by me. Brilliant. So that's a win for me, that's a win for them. But also, the runners that maybe are those lone wolves or maybe can't afford coaching or whatever the reasons, they go off and they will have taken not only information, but they would have taken action and they will be able to self-coach and utilize their plans in a much more effective way. So everybody wins, long as they, you know, long as they do something. They just don't collect more information that just doesn't get used. And that's what frustrates the living you know what out of me. Myself, I'm as guilty of it as anyone and with everybody else. So if that's something of interest, there will be some information somewhere around under this video for that. But what I'd really encourage you to do is, yes, learn more, but stop just seeking all the time. Start implementing more effectively. See what works, listen to your body. If it doesn't seem right with your body, do something different. But variety is the spice of life. At the end of the day, do some easy runs, do some longer runs, do some speed work within the realms of your abilities at that point, but don't overcomplicate it because it doesn't have to be complicated at all. And sometimes us coaches, we're guilty of that. Anyway, said enough and somebody's now cutting trees along with the cars. So I'm gonna go. See you later, bye for now.